Edges. Uh, today we're going to be showing off our Edge product. Uh, we're going to be going through several tutorials on how to wire the unit up, program it, as well as hook up any other accessory devices to it. So uh, you'll see the several different videos that we have to offer and we'll go ahead and get started. All right, so we're going to start off by hooking up our relay and this will just be for illustration purposes only. Uh, so for your gates, you're going to want to use a normally open terminal which is here. And for your mag locks uh, situations, you're gonna use the normally closed terminal, which is here for relay A. There's also a second relay for relay B to operate your second gate, which will be these terminals here. So we're gonna go ahead and start off with blue going to our normally open for our gate. Again, this is for illustration purposes, so you won't see anything hooked to the other end. in our common wire. Typically, you're normally open. It's gonna to connect to a free exit on your gate operator, and then you're common to a ground for that normally open. Second, we're gonna go ahead and connect our power after we have connected our relays. Black for negative. And our red for positive. Then we'll go ahead and power our unit up. and we've completed the first steps of wiring your edge unit. Next, I'm gonna show you how to wire a Wigan device uh, to your keypad or your edge unit. Uh, here, I have our 12-000, our Remote Pro keypad, and we're gonna hook that up uh, to our edge unit. We have our four wire run, our red and black for power, and then our data one and data zero, which is green. So first, whenever you hook a Wigan device uh, to any of our units, you're gonna wanna power it down. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn the power off for the unit. Now that we have power disconnected, I'm gonna go ahead and run my wires in through the back opening here, and we're gonna hook it to Wigan 2. So this particular unit already has a card reader uh, attached to the faceplate, which is connected to Wigan 1. So we'll utilize Wigan 2 for our Remote Pro keypad. All right, we're just gonna check, make sure everything's nice and secure. And we now have our Remote Pro hooked to our edge unit. So we'll go ahead and power it back up. And there's a few things you have to do on our Remote Pro to program it. And I'll show you that here in just a second. So just as a recap, uh, our green is gonna go to 12 volt on the Wigan input, our black, is gonna to go to the negative or ground for that 12 volt input. 
our white is data one and our green is data zero. And you'll find on our circuit boards, everything labeled uh, next to the terminal for easy installation. All right, now we're gonna show you how to utilize direct programming on our edge units. Uh, so these units are capable of being programmed right at the keypad or uh, via the app, which we will show you in another video. So first I'm gonna just add an access code uh, to this unit from the keypad by utilizing our master code out of the box, which is 1251. I'm gonna enter submode one, and then I'm gonna create my access code for relay A. We'll add pound to exit out of uh, programming mode, and then we'll go ahead and test that code out. if you can hear the relay but that code was accepted now i'm going to go ahead and program that code for my wigan remote keypad as well so again i'm going to go ahead and enter programming mode with the master code sub mode six this is connected to wigan two so i'm going to hit two i want it to fire relay a so that is 100 and then sub mode one there and then it's five digits, so I'm just gonna put a zero in front of the four digit code that I want. And pound again to exit. Then we'll go ahead and try that on our Wigan keypad. And it did work. And we'll go ahead and I'll show you how you can check that out uh, when you're in the field. So a good way to check and see if your codes are programmed our, our relays have an LED indicator. So there's two uh, little white boxes there with LEDs in there. I'm gonna enter that code again on my Wigan keypad. And we see that relay fire. So now I know that code is programmed and it is firing the relay. And I'll do that one more time. Excellent.